That was a revelation. We were like, wow, this is so cool that you can use seaweed to make these kind of products. How can we make it bigger, more resistant? How can we really take it away from um, the world of like food technologies and bring it into packaging? Hi, I'm Jess. And for this month's Startup Spotlight, I'm here in London visiting the Knoppler offices to find out how and why their innovations bring the circular economy to life and tackle climate change. And I can announce that the 2022 Earthshot for Build a Waste Free World goes to Knoppler. Notply is a sustainable packaging startup based in London, developing a range of packaging solutions made from seaweed and plants as alternatives to single-use plastics. We really believe that uh, we can look at nature for solutions instead of using synthetic materials like plastic. And we've been growing a portfolio of solutions, including edible bubbles for marathons and festivals, takeaway uh, food containers uh, for home delivered food and street meals, um, and films and flexible sachets for all sorts of different dry powders. So the range is expanding every day. Notpla is circular and the products we produce are circular because we make them from seaweed and plants and then at the end of their life they biodegrade, eventually turning back into compost which could be used to feed those seaweed and plants, so it's really quite closed loop. So the reason that I think Notpla products are really special is we design true solutions. We really, we have wormeries in-house and if the worms don't eat the products then it never goes out. We really want to producing something that will leave no trace in the world. We look to nature to see how that happens in nature and then whatever nature does we try and repeat that. So we're t making something which is truly biodegradable. Nopla began as a university project when friends, Rodrigo and Pierre, came together. In the early days, uh, we were working with my co-founder Rodrigo in our kitchen. We didn't have access to a lab. We were just looking at lots of different natural materials and how they could be a potential uh, edible packaging or biodegradable packaging. So we started with uh, the usual um, starches, cellulose, different types of uh, gums from different roots and different plants. And eventually that's when we stumbled upon the uh, technique for making fake caviar uh, that uses uh, seaweed extracts uh, to create the little kind of like balls of uh, flavor, fish flavored uh, liquid. And that was a revelation. We were like, wow, this is so cool that you can use seaweed to make these kind of products. How can we make it bigger, more resistant? How can we really take it away from um, the world of like food technologies and bring it into packaging? Um, and, and that's the point where we also started to research more about seaweed and realize how incredible a material it was. Like uh, grows very fast, doesn't require fresh water or fertilizer. Uh, it sequesters carbon, it's naturally biodegradable. So it felt like this material had to be um, one of the solutions to our plastics problem. Our innovation is very important because the materials we use today have a huge toll on our natural environment, on ourselves. So we have to stop using plastic. Plastic is this material that is extremely high performance. It has its use, but single use is not one of them. And it's very important that we stop using it for applications where consumption is so quick and where it's not required to have such properties. So they've won the Earthshot Prize, but we want to know what are the biggest remaining challenges? So we are using natural materials. We're using sort of newly found supply chains from seaweed sourcing to other plant extracts. So our materials are by nature quite expensive due to the lower scale that they operate in. We are moving towards a path towards profitability. We're very nearly there with some of our products and we are there with one or two, but it's, um, we understand that it's a challenge and that's why these kind of support exercises, the Airshot Prize really help to kind of move us closer to that. When you look at the, the cost of traditional plastics, it's so low, it's virtually low because it doesn't take into account any of the externalities. Um, so you're really not comparing like for like. Um, all the costs on uh, marine ecosystems, on our health, on uh, climate change is not built into the price at the purchase point. I think from a policy perspective, um, it's great that governments and uh, you know, organizations are waking up to the plastic issues that we're, we're facing. And there are single-use plastic uh, taxes that exist in the EU, in the UK, and across the, across the globe. So that really helps us in kind of explaining that to customers and also understanding that you know, from a pricing perspective, 
taxes will have to be paid on plastic, um, single-use plastic going forward. Thanks to Earthshot Price, we're going to be able to, uh, to have like more chemists, more uh, machineries and more engineers to keep scaling up. Thanks to the Earthshot Price, we're now getting rich uh, far beyond Europe and we are getting a lot of interest from the US, Southeast Asia, all sorts of different markets. So the goal for us is to make sure that the technology is mature and ready so that we can look at those uh, expansion uh, territories um, and find the right partners locally that can really amplify what we can do. So on top of trying to sell more and more takeaway boxes, we are also interested in selling um, the coating directly to converters and paper mill. So that's something really new and exciting, like to, to work directly with these new tech stakeholders. What we really see as like our scale up is that we provide the input materials for others to run those machines and operate uh, all of their kind of like uh, production with not plat instead of plastic. So by going up in the value chain, that means that we can have so much more impact. And so we are looking at proving to all of those industry uh, like partners that it's really worth putting those materials and those products on the market so that they can then take it upon themselves to, to use those for their own clients. This is a little celebration cocktail for the Earthshot price. Cheers. <laughs>